Greetings and salutations. My name is Joe Bob and I'm VP. Welcome back to Darkwood. Day 11. Because yeah, day, the days are finally progressing again. I say finally, it was only like two episodes. That where I had was on the same day. But it was like fucking two or three. It was like two hours, so. Yeah. Anyways, enough the moaning. We're gonna be going to the holes. Which is a movie I vaguely remember. Let's see, we've got some lockpicks for once. Just gonna put away those, I suppose. And yeah, some rags for bandages. If we just get one more thing of pliers, we can make this pump action shotgun. Now we can finally make use out of, well, quite a few things. The long barrel, all these weapon parts I've been stocking up, and this tubular magazine I bought on a whim, and, of course, these shotgun shells that I've been buying. Hang on. Did I remember to buy shotgun shells today? Doesn't look like there's any, okay. Might just not be any. Okay. I could have sworn I had five, not four, but whatever. Nice. No, they stack up to ten, okay. I wonder how many rounds there's gonna be in the shotgun. Oh, you know what's really nice? Oh, they're gonna be really nice about the shotgun? That I don't actually. Is that. You know, not only will it have, of course, more shots in it than the double barrel or single shot shotgun, which sounds weird to say, but it's even better than the uh, pistol with this magazine because, well, it might have less bullets in it, I don't know. Pistol only has like eight, which is not very many, but shotgun probably will have less than that. But, importantly, it... What the fuck is that? Whatever. Uh... Importantly, assuming it works the way most shotguns do in games, it'll... Ooh, nice! It'll, uh... It'll actually be able to be reloaded m mid, uh, magazine. Oh, one of these. And... I should pick them up on my way back. And not just waste the rest of the magazine. So that's gonna be nice. And with this poisonous... I was about to say, with this poisonous mushroom I'll be able to level up again, but I remembered I already got that level up from the one that was nearly done, so no. Interesting that there are, that I can hear frogs. That's actually really interesting because frogs are extremely sensitive to. Whoa. They're extremely sensitive to environmental changes. Which means that whatever happened here with all the trees growing and all that, the swamp water coming in, all that crap, whatever happened to do that. Do, isn't fouling up the water. The water's still clean-ish. As clean as it is in any swamp, really. Otherwise, the frogs would likely be dying off. Ah, here we are, near the holes. Where are the holes? Show me the holes. Ah, are these the holes? They look like holes. Okay, I'm now at the holes. Why? Holes! Indeed! Someone is inside this hole. I can barely make out a silhouette. Looks like a grown man with long disheveled hair. He's completely covered in mud. My holes, all mine. Alright. I guess there's probably something in this hole. Large hole in the ground. It's quite a wide tunnel. There are finger marks on the ground. It must have been dug out using bare hands. I wonder where it leads. I know. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, it's like the hole from the, uh, from the village a while ago. It's a, you know, shortcut holes. All right, that's nice. Convenient, I guess. Yeah, if I ever need to go back to the Great Lake, it's a lot faster. But is there anything actually around here? Like anything, any useful supplies? My holes, you moved. Mine! Okay. Ah, it's so dark. Ah, here we go. A crate. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? Uh, boards, gasoline, lantern, pliers! Hell yes! Oh yeah! Here we go! Now then. Uh, like that. That, and that, and that, and that. That, and that, and that. And then... Upgrade! Oh, can't upgrade it any further. Don't need to. Yes! Alright. How many rounds can I hold? Oh, right. It starts out with a full thing. Oh, yes! Nice. I forgot about that. That little bit of, uh... Convenience. All right. Well, these holes will certainly make it easier to explore the Great Lake, but I think I'll probably need the oxygen. I'll need some kind of oxygen tanks to explore that. I don't really want to see. Uh, now that I've got the shotgun, I think I can leave behind. At the very least, leave behind one of these. That's a small caliber of magazines. Maybe if it's good, if if it's potent enough, I might just leave behind the gun entirely. Eh, you know what? I like to live dangerously. And replace that there. All right. Now let's save over with the oven. Now let's check out that cottage. I'm always nervous seeing that light because it looks like almost identical to the lights that are evil, you know? I'm showing you some. Ah, well, yeah, see that light. Also, I, yeah, okay, so the uh, increased health seems to increase it by. Is that eight shots? Holy shit! That's a lot more than I expected. Alrighty then. Good stuff. Now how powerful is it though? Pretty fucking powerful! Oh fuck. Jesus, I'm getting ganked by fucking everyone all of a sudden. Fuck. Getting lots of meat out of it, though. Where is that? Hi. Just quickly. Oh, is that on fire? Huh. All my lockpicks. Oh, wire. That I'm not sold on the on that being worth the lockpick, but all right. Nothing for it now. I guess I could technically load a save, but that would be silly.
And I got half of my lockpick back anyway, so not a huge loss. Sawmill. Oh. Well, that would have been useful to have found back when I was searching for that fucking... Searching for planks and, and logs and shit. Jesus. Wow. It just... It's just suddenly started raining. That's annoying. How the fuck do I get in? Okay. Is this no entry? What? Oh. Hi! Yeah! This shotgun's pretty fucking good, I'd say. What is this? Okay, I don't know what the fuck is up with this place. I'm just gonna go and check out the village. Hopefully it'll be one of those places where I can get through and get to some place that, where the time stopped. Or something. I've wasted a lot of time. A bit of time. Yeah, that's definitely eight shots. Alright, how to see the junkyard. Where? We're best to probably die to starvation. No. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't know what that's like because I don't eat. Or I don't need to around there. Because not eating is certainly an easy way to die of starvation. No, it's not really a thing against it, but what it, but you know what I mean. Hi! You again. This land hides more secrets than your little fucking rat brain is capable of understanding. You're just a fucking asshole, aren't you? After I let you live, what the fuck is wrong with you? The doctor digs through the mud. I think he's looking for something. Deep underground, there's a current of electricity. Fucking electricity! He starts flailing his arms wildly, throwing pieces of mud everywhere around him. And it flows underground from tree to tree! <sighs> the doctor suddenly freezes, staring at me with his arms midair. And it powers everything! It connects it all! If I had a light bulb, if I just screwed it into one of these branches, it would light up! I bet it fucking would! You have gone completely nutty, haven't you? He bends over a small hole in the mud and continues digging. Maybe this is where you're hiding. Maybe this is the way. All right. Good luck. I haven't slept a wink in many days. Yeah, I could tell. To be fair, neither have I. I don't think this is good for me. I hear this voice all the time. Well, at least you're sane enough to recognize that. Can you hear it? Her heavenly voice? The doctor stares right into my eyes. Mud drips from his face. He hasn't blinked in over a minute. No, you don't. Why would you? You don't know her. He steps towards me and lowers his voice. I'm a bit fed up with her. A bit. A little, tiny bit. She must know I'm heading her way. I'm doing everything I can. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I search every, uh, under every rock, under every fucking bush. She must understand it. She must give me some time. Some little time off. Tell her this, will you? Sure, if I ever meet this voice in your head, I'll tell her that. The doctor is lost in his thoughts. A cigarette sticks out of his mud-covered mouth. Using what remains of his shoe, he draws lines on the ground. They seem to intersect in completely random places. I'm waiting. He doesn't stop drawing. He moves away a bit and makes a wide arc of his heel. Or... 
The doctor flicks his cigarette into the dirt, stomping on it and drags it along the ground, creating the last straight line. You. Fuck. Drawing with ever my forte. Can you hear the trees sing? They're calling us. They're showing us the way. Maybe they're calling you, but... They're showing us the way at the same bl blocking it. I can't understand it. It's almost like you're going crazy and you're hearing things. He kicks a stone. Are they trying to tell us something? Are they putting us to a test? I don't know. Maybe they're lost too and don't know what to do. He shakes his head, dispirited, and goes silent. After a long pause, he turns towards me. His, eye his glasses are so dirty I can barely see the eyes hiding underneath. I see you haven't regained your speech. You need to find another doctor. <laughs> yeah. Alright, another thing in the jig. Honestly, money... Uh, neither of these are useful for anything but money. And money. And honestly, I'm fine on money, so I'll take the embryo. Alrighty then. What was that? I saw something. My cursor changed. Oh, fish! Neat. I have a fish now. Just what I always wanted. Okay, I think... Yeah, I don't think the cottage near the junkyard is, is accessible. Oh. Who are you? I'm here. Hi. Yeah, you guys can all fuck off. Hi! Okay then. No. Hey, a bear trap. Mini nails and planks. Useful scrap metal, gun parts, ropes, tapes, letters, some note tools, scrap metal, an old compressor, clothes, an axe. What is this? Oh, oh, I see. It's a map, but of what? Am I in a diving suit? Is this a... It must be a map of the underwater areas. Or something. Ah, crap. I got something in my journal, I think. No, I didn't. Organic cord? Some kind of organic cord is a silly cool thing. It's surprisingly hard and durable. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe there is some kind of strange electricity or something. Here. Anyways. Let's go see what's up with that giant snail thing. Shell crack, maybe I could break it open. Maybe. Um, is this, uh... Hi. Oh, you talk. God, what what do I, what voice do I even give to a, a talking snail? Oh, snail speech is extremely slow and slur. That helps. Who? Hmm. Hmm. The snail's speech is extremely slow and slow. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets. They dingle so from side to side. Let let them. Trying to keep me in the sight. Why? Why are you disturbing my forest rest? His right eye raises with great effort and wobbles. Your face. What happened to you? The snail's jaw falls so low, it almost attaches itself to the rest of the body. You're one to talk. You scared me. 
You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. I have no idea what voice I'm doing. Suddenly I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens up. Quiet. Hear that? Do you hear that voice? The snail tucks his head inside. Quiet. Hear that? Do you hear that voice? The snail tucks his head inside his shell. He calls to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She's calling me. And I'm here. Trapped. Bound. The snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under his huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please. I need to get out of here. You release me. I will leave. Come back tomorrow, and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. The snail falls silent. His enormous head slowly drops to the shell. Giant gleaming drops of mucus appear on his slimy skin. You need... You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything by myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit, lying in the sun gives me this strange pleasure, but it's time for me to go. Understand, I have to. Alrighty then. Giant fucking snail creature that seems to be unaware that it's a snail. Sure, why not? Alright, here. You're going there, too. Everyone is going there. It's the road home, after all. You're so ugly, I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. Again, you're one to talk. And that's not a great way to get someone to help you, you know. Once there was a beautiful clearing. Now everything's covered in water, and I've lost my gum boots. Do you have any gum boots on you? It was yesterday. I don't even know what a fuck the fuck a gum boot is. Or a few days ago, maybe a year. I woke up in front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? No idea. Alright then, he wants me to... Bring him. Should I though? Oh, belly. Roof beneath the shell is completely destroyed. The snail shell is probably also badly damaged. Maybe I would be able to get inside the cottage through the skin on his belly. It seemed quite frail. Yeah, this is a plan with neither flaw nor chance of error. Alrighty then. We have nothing to eat since the flood. I've caught some snails and frogs, but if this then nothing. Oh, is this some kind of uh situation like that fucking uh, lobster man, what was it a crab man? So, the fucking seafood guy from the start of One Punch Man. <laughs> he ate so much of something that he became that thing. I don't know. Or maybe the snails burst out of his belly and combined into 
Maybe the snails, they melted together in his belly and then burst out, consuming his brain and believing themselves to be him. If that's the case, then I probably did a public service by killing it. Or did I kill it? I don't know, actually. I, just, I busted open its belly and crawled through it. It might still be alive. I've seen stranger things. I mean, like me surviving my own death, for one. Let's see. I'm out of the cross crosswords I found last year in the old wardrobe in the, at the junkyard. The only thing that's left is to continue writing the journal and listening to this strange radio. In two days, I will visit the junkyard again. Maybe I'll finally find a tape recorder or something that will allow me to record this weird signal. I feel there's some meaning hidden behind it. I'm hungry. I'm eating grass and whatever I find in the water. I've seen some strange men between the trees. They are not locals. They do not hide. They do not hide. They were dressed in strange clothes, but I was too far to take a better look. Besides, I'm alone, and there are at least three of them. Maybe I'm delusional? Or maybe these old ruins aren't empty. I found a blank tape and a broken tape recorder. Maybe I can fix it and do something with it. I've also found some other useful things. I've written them down and left them for later. I don't have the strength to wear them all on my back. Is it... Is it possible that the radio tower emits this strange signal? It's been a couple of years since it's been turned on. The woods have blocked the way to it. But no other signal reaches this place from outside. It must be that tower. I need to take a break from this radio. I hear this voice everywhere. It's strangely familiar. I can't get it off of my off my head. Off my head, what? And I can't get it out of my head. Location found. Radio tower. Ooh. Well, that reminds me. The snail. I found a cottage crushed by an enormous snail. It turns out that it can speak. It begged me to cut it loose. Well, I cut it, certainly. <laughs> fish. Do I kill with the fish? No. Ow. No? Oh! Oh, that regenerates my health. Oh, maybe I do care about the fish, then. Dead body. All recorders and destroyed tapes, everything is covered in goo, dripping from a leaking sink. Dry corpse. Oh, so that, that snail side wasn't the one riding the thing. Interesting. So maybe it was a revenge sort of thing. Oh, this is a pleasant thing. What the fuck? You. Are you her? Okay. That certainly was a thing that just happened. I don't even know if I can drop now. I don't care about rope, it's useless to me. Alright then. Yeah, I think. I don't know if- I think the snail's probably dead. Either that or it's just not talking to me. Yeah. Although that- yeah, the whole stuff they've found in there doesn't- is actually- it, it's, uh, it's kind of evidence against- Oh, go on. The idea that- Oh, you could so easily squeeze through that. Whatever. That- that it's, uh, him turn into a slug, but potentially evidence for it being the slugs, you know, bursting out of him. Let's see. Ah, crap. Wait a second. Hang on. Maybe if I... Boom! Does that work? No. Shit! That did nothing! Ah, what a waste of a bullet. A shell, rather. I have no idea how the fuck I'm supposed to uh, get into there. I think all angles are blocked. It would be so easy for me to... Boom! What is it? What? Didn't see that coming, did ya, fucker? Ooh, fair trap. I really need to get home. Quickly. Ah, junkyard. Seems to be pretty close, uh, but I don't have space for anything from there, and I don't have time either. So I don't have any 
of those dimensions. I do have poisonous mushrooms, so that's nice. Ah, crap, I'm too mean to it. Thank God. Hi. Ah! Fucking. You try to pick up something that. from those guys that you don't have room for. It's so. such a cumbersome thing to actually. I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? Could have picked up the damn. I could, could have picked up the pills. I mistook them with them. I got my brain confused with the other pills, which I just eat immediately. Ah, whatever. I wasn't that kind of low HP. I think. I took the hit, anyways. Hi. Mushroom man. Ah. Thank goodness for the antidote. Okay, I'm... Going the wrong way? Yes, I know, that's what I'm doing. Here we go. Hide out. Now. Okay. Uh, put away this, this, anything I don't care about. Grab gasoline. Grab boards, matchsticks. Uh, cook. Uh, boom. Wow, I'm... I'm already most of the way to the next level. That was fucking quick. All this, and I just... And with it, I just realized I forgot to make a bear trap. I always want a bear trap. Bear traps are nice. Maybe two of them, even. Yeah, I've got enough. And, uh... Prepare the axe, of course. Now, quickly now. All right. Here, since anything coming careening through the window will probably land in it as well. All right. I mean, yeah. Not honestly. Now that I've got this uh, shotgun, these malt, it can basically do the job of the Molotov cocktails and and much cleaner too. And less likely to get me killed. And honestly, the ammo isn't much more expensive. Thing with the bear trap there is I don't have to disarm it after uh, when nightfall oh when daytime comes like I would for someone here. Mm. What do I have left? I thought I used that. Yeah, I could just want to use that. Whatever. Ah, oh, it's just a savage. You can tell by how much damage it's doing to the door. Very little. 
Jesus. What the fuck? Oh, it's another little centipede man, isn't it? Oh no, it's Buzz. Neat. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably make a new uh, body armor. I'm fairly certain I got shells earlier too. Did I? I don't actually remember now. Alright, door's coming down soon. Oh no, it's a dog. Anyways, let's re-barricade that. Oh, I should have taken the meat, damn it. Yeah, well. It just gave up. And he's going for this door now. A uh, window. Oh. Is he even gonna make it in time? I don't know. But at least we'll be sure. Oh yeah, he's got like four hours. Unless of course he just gives up. Jesus, you guys are <laughs> stupid. Unless you've buggered off entirely, but if you've given up on that one just to go to a different also barricaded door. Oh, going back to that one. Alright. What the fuck was that? Hi. Hmm? What did I just say? Ha! Ah, dumbass! You walked right the fuck into that! Oh shit. No. I thought it was, uh. had that stuff that makes him invincible. Where's the other. Ah, here we go. Well, a uh, few, a good few meat. That's good. Ah, yeah, they're gonna make it through. How troublesome. Not very though. Oh. How'd he die? Oh, is the acid blood finally doing something? Sweet. And of course. Yeah, they got those barricades are gonna take take a bit to rebuild. Huh, ah, day 12. If this was pathologic, this would be the last day. But fortunately this is not pathologic. Ow. What am I what do I Oh. Oh, that's what I was saying on that. This Crap. He just did a lot of it. Ah, crap. Yo! Got anything for me? I should really... I okay, will grab this. Then I'll go cook up all this stuff. You know what? Maybe I'll find... Maybe I'll get the level up. I'm not really certain about the math here, but... Maybe. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, nearly. Just barely not. Holy shit. Shotgun shell. It's not using so many of them. Fire. All of the planks. Again, since I'm using so many of them. <coughs> now that I've gone through a, the. What was it? 350 that I got? Just from surviving? Very nice. Uh, 
Uh, here we go. Light armor. Why is it called light armor? Is there, is there a heavy armor or a medium armor? Hmm. No. Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Mastics. I have some mastics over. Ow, fuck. That's really annoying. Hang on, could I? No, that doesn't work. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be building this torch right next to the gas tanks. There we go. Alright. And you know what? I'll just replace this. Get out of my inventory. Okay, that's it. Alright. Damn. Honestly, I think at this point I should just give up on wrapping stuff that's you know, valuable to the stuff, and just because I've already got like a massive stockpile of valuables, I should just focus on stuff that's actually useful. Like a little bit more fucking essence. Alright then. That's it. Next time, maybe I'll. Maybe I, I mean, maybe I'll swing by the junkyard and solve it and such, but honestly, I think I should head over to the radio tower. Because holes are like right near it. It's gotta be something important in the radio uh, radio tower. Gotta be. And it might be like some end, super end game stuff or whatever, but you know what? I've already got plenty of end, uh, plenty of gear. I'll be fine. Until then. I have been Joe Bob, and I'm, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.